Hello and welcome to the fourth part of this tutorial uh, where we're going to focus on some ornaments and uh, other stuff. So if we take this image, you can see there is some concrete stuff and ornaments. Uh, it's nice to separate yellow with a red brick. And also here are some bricks and some rain pipe and a nice roof with windows so we're gonna design that um, uh, if we take a closer look we also have uh, this kind of roof thing uh, we can start with that one um, it's the easy part uh, you create a cube you're scaling that uh, like you have the size of what you want to have something like this and there is not really a way of doing this because you just want to have some variation, something like this. So I want more. And on top, you want to have something what close it. And if we go to the side, you can see it looks a bit different. So we have to. Uh, what I do normally do is um, scaling it so we can see the difference, and then we bring it back. see the if it's not enough you can do it again so scaling it oops scaling it I think this is enough and I want to have if we look there is some nice white and there is a gray border over there so and we have to make that smooth so one more over there um yeah as i said i'm making this smooth so bring this there oops and one more over there can go to this gray view and i want one over there and yeah you can choose it i think that looks more smooth the more lines you make the better it looks sometimes not always so we have something like this um yeah as i said two colors uh, so the new one is make it a bit dark so not totally white so it will t reflect all the light so i can make this a bit dark and if you select these and alt home and these and you make a new material making this gray and assign that uh, yeah you won't see it here also not in the material oh yeah you can see it in the material mode so uh, yeah that's pretty much it so we bring this one and you can choose for adding a material on uh, this bar if you like but uh, it's not really necessary um, I think this is looking a bit too much stretch so make that smaller I also do that for the other side that is not totally the same it's not a big deal and it's still like this and if we take a close look it's closing the roof tile so something like there whoops yeah and if we look closer there's also uh, another border over there so we also need to spend some time on that what is not really <laughs> really hard all these little small ornaments makes it looks better and better so making a small one Control point so, like this, and drag that a bit too. There you go. And selecting these and stretch it to the other side, and then we go there. And if we, if this is a bit too sharp, maybe we can do that by Control B, but I don't think Control B. No, I think it will work. So new material, make it a bit dark. All right. 
right so save the work and if we hit render if we do that uh, it looks like this and if we take a closer look um, we can't really see this yeah it's jammy a little bit so if you look here it's going straight there so we have to select it and point it there so perfect and still it's still a bit too much so maybe a bit that will work and same for the other side but yeah use your own interpretation of what looks good I can tell you that so yeah you can duplicate that one for the back if you like I did not with my sample but maybe you like it or maybe not then there is another one going uh yeah separate the uh, yellow and the uh, red brick so mesh add mesh cube and we have to enable the texture mode to discover where it is material so I want to have it right there and it's going uh, it's also there so it's a really cool trick I'm using this a lot in my uh, own work when I create buildings many ornaments you can make the better it looks most of the time there we go and we don't want a really thick line that's the small one so selecting these two and also you guys making that smaller uh, and oops sometimes I'm just meshing this up all right, um, subdivision surface, and then we're selecting that right there. And one more, and one over there. Uh, we're missing still uh, one. I think this looks okay. So it doesn't matter. There is some uh, thing. In the middle are like that so next thing I'm do I'm doing is you mm, or oh, first we apply it you project from view and we need some concrete and a nice texture for this da, 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 office concrete UV as why and stretching this out a little bit uh, just take this and you won't see any uh, repeat repeating texture I think no that looks solid yeah perfect um, all right so if we hit a render do, 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 we get this all right um yeah okay and we go back so what else do we need so we have this one and well you can see there is popping up some extra uh, uh yeah there is something coming out of the building we can create that uh that takes a bit of time i forgot it don't know why well, yeah, it's fun to solve that. No, oh, there we go. So maybe a bit more. Uh, if we add the texture, we need that it spits to there. All right, um, and of course we need some smooth edges not always working pretty good control B there we go and one more um, and we're adding a new image open red office brick what was it uh, there it is 
view, project from view, UV. Oops, I'm scaling this. And yeah, we need the same size as these bricks next to the material. Yeah, these are way small, so that doesn't look really realistic. Uh, UV image editor. So I'm zooming in a bit. So to we think, yeah, looks acceptable. They are too big. I think this this works. Bit bigger, bit bigger. Yes. It's not really a problem. It, it, it we can always fix it later. So selecting these vertices. Also, oops, control point won't work. So Alt Home. We are down there. Uh, wait, oops, there we are. Project from view and Control L. So we are scaling this to the size what we see right there. All right. Um, so we're not putting a texture there because we, we don't see that. I'm not spending time on that. All right. So is it matching? Mm, almost. So we need to add a uh, window in it, and we're just making it exactly the same size as that one in the back, and popping that out. And we want making this cut too, and selecting that shape and boolean difference cut to uh, dead eye cut under underscore all right and you will apply it and remove it and we're selecting this window frame and removing this uh, forward just a little bit you can see it's not fitting exactly so we have to don't know why it's not that hard oh no this will work so texturing all right so we also have to make this fit uh but we're gonna do that later i think yeah it's not really necessary right now so we need something there in the roof as we can see here in the image so um i have an idea to fix that and we're closing this we will all we will we need all our space so add mesh cube I think it's small something like this and let that pop out oops grab the green arrow I think I selected the orange dot so this is good and where do we? it's like one two three tiles up so it's like and this a tree up there, a tree down there. Um, what do we need more? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I want to make this a bit smooth. So Control B. Yes, adding a material. It is a material. It's just totally white. Yes. So make it a bit gray. And then shift D. It's, it's there. And then we're adding a window. And we don't want these uh, there. So making that one and two. And we can make this a bit uh, 150 think well yeah is it changing I did not see anything oh yeah that works I need to have more glasses <laughs> I think uh, we could take a close look I want a little bit thicker borders no the inner the riser I want to look like it's going to be smaller hmm so slow yeah that's better all right so dragging this so you know I'm not losing everything so it's no problem 
and putting it right there. Um, in this case, it's better to select these things and go to another layer because I'm not seeing anything good. All right, um, selecting this one, making it it fits good, and selecting that. All right, and put them a bit backwards. So we have that. All right, and um, yeah, we have two different types of windows. What looks weird. I think I did something wrong. Oh yeah, it's not really a big problem. So we're removing the window in the back. Uh, same for that one. Um, yeah, it's having the same material. What is good? Uh, right. Yeah. Well, I will smash window. What is that with the no? Mm. Oh yeah, I just selected something weird, but this looks better. So yeah, this is what we want. So we remove that one and picking this. Oh, that's a little tweak. <laughs> I don't like it if things doesn't look the same. And you can't sell that to people. So come on. Something like this. And what do we have more? Yeah, we have this. Uh, yeah, we can select that layer. Shift D. And is there something applied? Yeah, apply the modifier. Modifier. Oh, I'm gonna remove this for only for this time, which is the second layer. And selecting the first one. Ah, oh, did I? Nice. Rob, what are you doing? This is totally lunatic. Alright. Uh, selecting that one. Um, making that a bit smaller. Same for that one. And yeah. Then we go to the top view and selecting these and bringing them back right there just something like this okay now we're selecting the rest of the roof and bringing that s there okay we're almost there this needs to be synced so something like this and let it pop in out a bit that looks a bit more realistic and a little trick what i like to do with this one so yep and there's one more thing we're creating a cube making that smaller so if we watch the image you can see some black thing yeah don't know how to call that that's for the rain there's no rain coming in Mm. So needs to size good. Almost done. It's not the most hard, most worst part. It this is pretty easy to do. This whole house is not really that hard. It's getting hard when you get these round uh, shapes, and you get totally wiped to your head. Hmm. Downwards. Hmm. Oh, you want to float in the air. Pretty good. So, yeah, I want you upwards, backwards, something like this. And now we get some fun. And now we have to. Hmm. Looks mm -hmm. Mm, we have to take that a bit upwards. I think there are easier ways to do this, but yeah, this is one of the ways. All right, um, almost done. 
kind of bring that one down. Yeah. Or else it will affect the window. Oh, man. Pretty weird. So, and make the color a bit more gray, something like this. So, if we hit render, we have a nice uh, roof over there. Uh, but we do not have curtains, so maybe that's the last thing we need to do. Uh, come on. Okay, yeah, curtains. There you go. Ship, uh, ship D. Oh. Wow. Lovely curtains. I want one for myself. Where can I grab one of these? All right. So if we hit render again, that should work. All right. Cool. Um, in the next part, we're doing some other random stuff, uh, little ornaments. I want to fix that upper, up the top of this window and something down there. And there is some more stuff to do. So see you in the next tutorial. See ya.